Well, you can see here, so over there you just see this lovely polished concrete slab and it all looks really sort of effortless and easy. And this is what's inside that concrete, which you can see is an enormous sort of tangle of steelwork that all has to be bent, transported, put in place, wired. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of these wire loops. There's a, there's a gun that can wire loop together. It has to go down into the, to the toe, if you like, the, the, the structural toe that stops the building push forward. Then we've got recesses and cutouts for some of the drainage issues, some of the drainage things like that, that piece of polystyrene, that piece of polystyrene, a shower tray. So we're just recessing them slightly into the concrete so we can form those later. You've got all the toilet um, and, and, and wastes coming up through the slab. You've got the underfloor heating manifold and the underfloor heating pipe being laid in. You've got to think of all this stuff before you pour because you really don't want to have to go and change anything when you're working with concrete like this. And then the last thing we have to do is cast these in. So these are angle brackets that the doors and windows all sit on. So this gets cast into the concrete slab to here. These bars go back in and are wired into the steel mesh. And then this cantilevers out over an insulation zone here so that the windows and doors are sitting completely in the insulation layer. Now obviously these windows and doors weigh up to 500 kilos each, so you know, they, these have to be incredibly strong. The reason we're using sort of a fiberglass L is that it doesn't conduct as much heat as steel. So this would become a big cold bridge. If you imagine you've got a triple glazed window sat here, you're going to, and that's sat on metal, you're going to lose a whole lot of heat through that metal support. This stuff here is much less conductive than metal. So it's a sort of a thermal break, if you like, that holds the windows. And we've just kind of had to work out how to do this, buy, the, buy this stuff, phone around, get a good price, buy this stuff, buy all the stainless steel, drill all the holes, cut the angles, screw them on, bolt them. I've got my son to help me put all the bolts on, which is very helpful. Uh, nice little fingers, he's only nine. He was very helpful with me on that. And then, yeah, we just go and stick them in here. So I've pre-cut uh, a recess into the edge insulation, which is under there. You can see that's where the cutout is. So this will then sit here and we need to wire that down to there. Push that out, wire that down. And then a window, a full 2.7 meter high, 900 wide window in, uh, by the shower will sit here. And so you'll stand there having a shower and look at the view. That's the plan. <laughs>